Let's go to the phones. Uh, Greg, you're on the air. Yeah, hey there, Howard. Thanks for taking my call. Hey now. Hey now. Our next guest is apparently dying of an incurable rare disease. Her dying wish is to be gang banged by our very own Sal and Richard. All right, all right, let's get this fantasy shit over with before you croak, okay? Mm -hmm. Please. <sighs> hey, Katie, welcome to the show. Hi. What do you want to talk about with Howard today? Uh, I'm gonna talk about how much I love his show and how much I love him. Oh, wow. Look at you. Look at this broad. Oh, I have wow. Man, you know, I hate to say it, but Benji was right. You're totally the kind of girl I'd finger at a Christmas party. Hey! How many times this dog told you to stay out in a fucking hallway? You wanna choose the horse, go do it somewhere else. Well, I got in the radio. I've got two first time lesbians who save themselves for me. You know, it makes all the struggle worthwhile. And Boston University will be proud, Howard. Hey, you know what? Screw Boston <laughs> University. I've got lesbians in front of me here, okay? Some things are just not for radio, Lisa. My private life is my private life. Really, Gary? Like the hello, hello tape? That seemed pretty private, but that ended up on the air. Or maybe your girly pitching arm? You probably wanted that to stay private, too. Well, you know what, Gary? It's the show. It's not private. Robin, have you ever wondered what it would be like to make sweet love to me? Come on, don't lie. I know you have. <sighs> Please, Howard. How would such a thing even take place? Yeah. Well, mere pits. It allows me to finally see those ebony fun bags I've been dreaming about all these years. Oh, Howard. Okay, thank you again, everybody, and we will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Amy. You excited uh, to meet Howard? Of course, he's one of my heroes, so I'm super excited. But I am a little bit nervous. I took a lot of Xanax, I think I'll be okay. Oh, that's cute. She's cute. <laughs> to She's be cute. cute. <laughs> so, what's, what's your deal? You're in love with Sal and Richard? Uh, I wouldn't really say in love, but like maybe a little infatuated. And you want to have sex with them? <laughs> oh, it's my dying wish. <laughs> that's disgusting. Aww. That's disgusting. Aww, that's not contagious. <laughs> uh, what exactly are you dying of, Amy? Well, I suffer from this disease called Bonner's dysplasia. Uh, what is that? Well, basically it means that I could just die at any moment. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, good luck in that today, Amy. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So, Robin. Our next guest is apparently dying of an incurable rare disease. Um, her dying wish is to be gang banged by our very own Sal and Richard. Oh God, that was her dying wish? What was her living wish? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Blow Ronnie the limo driver? <laughs> Anyways, Robin, as you know, I am a uh, very compassionate man. Uh, humanitarian of heroic proportions. Always trying to make this world a better place. Yes, Howard. You're like the Bono of vagina. That's good, Robin. I, I like that. Anyway, uh, apparently, apparently, she has something called um, Bogner's dis dysplasia. I don't, this, Gary, that doesn't sound real. Is that, someone Google that for me. That doesn't sound like a real disease. Um, okay, let's bring her out. Her name is Amy. Let's bring in Amy. <laughs> Oh, wow, look at you, babe, Marone. You are one hot piece of ass, you know that? Thank you, Howard. Robin, look at this girl. I tell you, it's a shame you're gonna be a corpse soon, honey. You are hot. Howard, don't say that. Hey, wait, she knows what she's getting into, all right? I'm like the Make-A-Wish Foundation over here. But you don't have to remind her of her illness. All right, honey, I, you, you know, you don't look sick to me. Um, what, now tell us about this disease you have, because no one here has heard of it, so. 
Well, it really is a disease. You know, like my body's electrical system could spontaneously shut down at any given moment. I won't be able to breathe and I'll die. Okay, now how do you know you have this, you know, outside of spontaneously dying? Well, I kept on getting all these headaches. And so I finally went to the doctor and he basically told me that any day could be the last day of my life. And you want to spend that day with Sal and Richard? <laughs> really? Honey, <laughs> honey, what's up with that? I mean, come on, go to Disneyland, you know, jump out of a plane. <laughs> Sal and Richard? Well, I've had this soft spot for Sal ever since he found out about his wife's emotional friend. And um, Richard, he's so freaking hot after he lost all that weight. When he was dancing around naked for George Takai, I was pleasuring myself. Oh my. And the thought of them with all their gay shit oh going my. on makes me want to come instantly. Okay. All right. Wow. And you made a compelling argument. Um, I'm still not completely convinced it's not some sort of mental illness that's your disease. No, I'm completely saying I assure you. Okay. Let's, let's bring in Sal and Richard. Okay. Get, get Sal and Richard in here. You've been listening, right? Okay, you've been hearing Amy's story. She's dying spontaneously any minute now. She could be dying. She could be dead. Uh, what do you guys think? You up for this? I, I'm up for it. I mean, my wife never gives me any pussy, you know, so I'm down. I mean, I mean right. you know, to help out the show and everything, you know? I, I'm about to get married in a couple weeks, but you know I'll do anything for the show. All right, Amy, there you go. Um, I don't want this in here, though. So take it to the, uh, take it to the hall. No, you know what? Yeah. Okay, take it to the bathroom. All right, get out of here. We will listen in. Do we really want to hear Sal and Richard have sex? As long as she's in the middle, right? Howard. Robin, I don't know about this. This girl looks healthy. I don't, who, I don't know how she got in here, who she knows. She's fine. You know, hopefully she doesn't spontaneously die on them in there. Oh, God. All right, let's, let's listen in. Your skin is so smooth and supple. Oh, yeah. Take it out, take it out. Oh, don't stop. Perfect. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um... Where do you say the bathroom was again, Howard? I couldn't find it. Uh, don't bite it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, come on in. Hey, mm. five. All right, all right. Let's get this fantasy shit over with before you croak, okay? Mm -hmm. Please. <sighs> Hey, Cagney, welcome to the show. Hi. What do you want to talk about with Howard today? Uh, we're going to talk about how much I love his show and how much I love him, of course, and maybe plug my website if I can. Anything else? Um, probably show my tits. Are you nervous? I mean, it's Howard. You never know what to expect, you know? But I took a bunch of Xanax, so... <laughs> okay, well, good luck in there. Thanks. Okay, coming up next, Robin, is this beautiful girl mm. that Benji <laughs> has been begging for us to bring on the show. Since when do we take Benji's advice on anything? Yeah, oh, that's a good point. <laughs> uh, anyway, her name is Cagney Lynn Carter. Uh, mm. She's an accomplished dancer. And she, well, she's a porno girl is what she is. She's a porn oh, star. Uh, so let's, let's bring her out here, okay? Look at you. Look at this broad. Oh, yeah. Wow. Man, you know, I hate to say it, but Benji was right. <laughs> gorgeous. She was even hotter when I was drunk. All right. So, how do you know Benji? Well, I was featuring at Rick's, and um, Benji had came in and wanted some dances, uh, but he didn't want to pony up the cash, so... You know, I did him a little favor, but he was name dropping your name the whole time, so. Yeah, of course, yeah. I thought, hmm, this would be a good way to get on the show. So you, you lap danced your way onto the show?
pretty much. <laughs> well, actually, it was Ronnie who said that he would get me on. Wait. What are you saying? Our limo driver, Ronnie, that, that he, promi wait, he promised you, you he could get you on the show? Yeah. Okay, well, you're here, uh, no matter how you got here. Let's uh, tell me about yourself. Who is Cagney? Well, I'm 24, and I've been doing porn for about two and a half years. Um, mm -hmm. I've won a few Great. awards, Avian Best New Starlet, XRCO and XBiz Best New Starlet, uh, uh, Best uh, New wow. And um, I'll probably be in the business for quite a few more years. <laughs> All right, it says here that you've just started having sex with black men. Oh. I assume that means on film. Now, what, is that true? Well, yes, I just did my first interracial scene. Right, and only why, why now? I mean, is it, are you fearful of black people? Is it, is it the large <laughs> penis thing? You know, what is it? I guess I just wanted to wait for the right moment. I see. Uh, Robin, when was the right moment for you? Right moment for what? Uh, sex, with, sex with black men. Was it uh, when Mr. X came along? I've had sex with black men before Mr. X Howard. Uh, I see. Uh, willingly. <laughs> I love you. Just joking, Robin. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> okay. okay, back to Cagney. Okay. Okay. She's got this slit. In her dress, right? You guys should see this thing. Are those breasts, are those real? Not exactly, but um, they're really nice. Do you want to see them, Howard? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Red says we have to take a break, so we will be back. You know, you're totally the kind of girl I'd finger at a Christmas party. Hey! How many times is Stone told you to stay out of that fucking hallway? You want to schmooze the horse, go do it somewhere else. Fucking relax, Ronnie. Hey, I'm not kidding around here, and you. Thanks a lot for throwing me under a fucking bus. You're pretty short, Ronnie. I probably only threw you under a bike. <laughs> yeah, funny. Get out of the fucking hallway. Yeah, whatever. Go. Move it. Move it. Get out of the finger, I see it. Put it away. <laughs> you know, see, I could probably get you your own show. Really? On serious? Sweetie. <laughs> of course I'm serious. You think I would lie to a stripper? Come on. <laughs> well, Robin, we appear to have lost Cagney. Uh, she stepped out to get some air and we just disappeared, so. Oh my, well I hope she's all right. Yeah, well, Benji's missing as well, so I'm assuming she's in terrible danger. Uh, wow. Anyway, let's bring in Lisa G with the Howard 100 News Department. Lisa G takes you to work, takes you to Lisa. The Howard 100 News. What's up? Well, Howard, as you know, Ronnie and Benji had a wild night on the town at Rick's, and a blow on funds, Benji had to resort to borrowing and blackmail in order to continue his cheap thrills. Yeah, can can someone locate Benji? We can't find Benji. I'm afraid someone's giving someone syphilis out there. <laughs> <laughs> also, Baba Booey is refusing my interview in regards to the saboteur that is thwarting his efforts to become a member of the Connecticut Parks and Recreation Committee. Baba Booey, give her the interview. What, what are you doing? They were afraid I was going to talk about it on the air, so they refused to confirm me. Boss, I want to represent my constituency but I'm afraid my ties to the show will hurt my tendencies. Just give her the interview, okay, Baba Booey? They'll be fine with or without your ginormous gums. <laughs> Some things are just not for radio, Lisa. My private life is my private life. Really, Gary? Like the hello, hello tape? That seemed pretty private, but that ended up on the air. Or maybe your girly pitching arm? You probably wanted that to stay private, too. Well, you know what, Gary? It's the show. It's not private. Well, you know what? They announced that I take shits at work every morning. I wish that were private, but I do what's best for the show. There's so much sexual tension in this room right now. Totally. Hello, ladies. What brings you by the show? Hi. Well, we've known each other for a long time. We go to the same parties. We've even been the same guys. And we just recently found out, we work at the same club, and we just found out that we're both lesbians. 
Yeah, and we're both totally into each other too. Yes, and we were totally into each other's snatches, but then I remembered how much Howard loves lesbians, so we decided we were gonna wait. Yeah, we're gonna save it for Howard. So you haven't actually consummated your lesbianic feelings? No, no we have not. <laughs> it's all for Howard. All right, well, good luck in there today. Thank you. Okay, Robin, so coming into the studio next, are a pair of lesbians who until recently did not realize they were lesbians. How do you not realize that you're a lesbian? All right, one could also ask, how does one not realize they enjoy pleasuring themselves with vegetables? You know, it just sort of sneaks up on you. <laughs> Tell me, Robin, when did you realize you enjoy putting vegetables in your vagina? Please, Howard, that's just a youthful curiosity. Yeah, what do you think this is? <laughs> <laughs> let's just, you know, let's just hope they're willing to share that youthful curiosity with us here today. All right, let's bring out Amber and Crystal. Amber and Crystal. You know, with names like that, I can't believe you're both lesbian strippers. I'm shocked. Yes, Howard, it's really true. All right, and you saved your lesbian virginity for our show. You know, that's just incredible. That's, that's incredible. You're doing a wonderful thing for society. Anything for you, Howard. Okay, so you didn't realize you were lesbians until just recently, and you're both attracted to each other, right? So, how, you know, how does, this, how does this happen? Well, we were pretty high on E one night, and I don't know, we just looked at each other and we're like, yo, we are so hot. <laughs> and you didn't realize you were that hot? up until then. We did, but we didn't think we wanted to do each other hot, like, you know. Okay, so you're, you're at the club, you know, and then what happens next? You, st you start making out? We start making out, we start filling each other up, and then we realized, holy shit, we're not gonna waste this at a bathroom in a club. We're like, let's just save it for Howard, so we've been holding off until now. Wow. All right, see, Robin, this is why I got into radio. I've got two first-time lesbians who save themselves for me. You know, it makes all the struggle worthwhile. And Boston University will be proud, Howard. Hey, you know what? Screw Boston <laughs> University. I've got lesbians in front of me here, okay? All right, Fred, uh, let's get some lesbian romantic music playing. Uh, ladies, do you need me to dim the lights? You know, get some candles in here? What do you mean? Uh, no, we just brought our tongues and our dildos. Wow. Okay, well, say no more. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I give you lesbian love. Let's go to the phones. Uh, Greg, you're on the air. Yeah, hey there, Howard. Thanks for taking my call. Hey now. Hey now. Uh, listen, uh, those lesbo whores was pretty hot. I had to pull over and pleasure myself. Uh, that's disturbing. Is there anything else? Yeah, hey, listen, you and Robin been working together for like 35 years. You guys never fucked around? Like, like ever? My God, no. That has never happened. That would be kind of weird. Plus, Howard has a beautiful wife. Yeah, I know. I, I beat off the pictures of Beth at least twice a week. Hey, it's an excellent question, though, you know? Um, but the answer is no. Uh, Robin and I have never been intimate. Although, undoubtedly, I'm sure secretly she's wanted to, to be with me this whole time. Um, but, but no, we've stayed away from that. Okay, but you both must have wondered what it would be like. Robin, have you ever wondered what it would be like to make sweet love to me? Come on, don't lie. I know you have. <sighs> Please, Howard, how would such a thing even take place? Easily, Robin. All right, let's, let's paint a picture, all right? Okay. So, we've both just arrived from accepting an award acknowledging our greatness. And, you know, we're both a little tipsy, okay? Oh, oh, Howard. <laughs> oh. Robin, this wine is delicious. How much did you pay for this? Oh, Howard, my sweet, it was just a mere $800. Yeah, well, a mere pittance. It allows me to finally see those ebony fun bags I've been dreaming about all these years. <gasps> now, Robin, you mustn't talk about this on my show, okay? It really would be magical, my dearest Robin. I'm sure it would be, Howard, but somehow I think Beth would have a problem with that. Hey, that's not true, Robin. She knows you're my first and true love. Aw, I love you too, Howard, but let's not go there again. Why not? It was awesome. 
Did you see how big my penis was in that fantasy? Oh, Howard. Fine, but you know what? I know you loved it, all right? Okay, thank you again, everybody, and we will see you tomorrow.